sorry I can't be stable. It all started last year, October of 2018. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I can't speak straight. I'm, I'm just really emotional about this. <sighs> Kayla has always been a special kid as you might call it. She's always been a little, sorry, difficult. Mom! Mom! What are you doing here? Get the heck out of my room! I'm playing Minecraft! My baby girl refuses to acknowledge she has a problem. She insists that it's normal to check your TikTok every two seconds to see whether it's gotten viral. But it isn't. This girl will scream, swear, and kick at me if I try and take her phone or computer away. Mom, why are you in here? Get out! You dumb- None of it is working. Layla, what do you think about your mom's wishes? I don't care about my mom. Ever. My mom just doesn't get it. All I want to be is TikTok famous. Okay, just leave me be, and maybe we can get a better house. Maybe she's just jealous of me because I actually have a boyfriend, and he kisses me. Can't say the same for my mom. Her father died two years ago, and ever since then, she's been a total control freak. In my opinion, she's a total so, Layla, you're currently experiencing issues with your mother because you want to become TikTok famous. She's on her laptop for hours and hours and hours a day. It's an addiction and it's going too far. Honestly, mom, you just don't get it. I feel like, like, you're just, ugh. So, Layla, if you're constantly on your phone or laptop making TikTok videos, do you get any family time? All right. First of all, let me get something straight. Back when my dad was alive, my mother would not want any family time with me. She used to be an abusive parent, and all of a sudden, she starts to care. It doesn't make sense. Layla, how could you actually say that about me? I was never an abusive parent, especially before your father died. I took care of you, I fed you. I felt neglected. You literally did not give me any love in those 10 years of- Layla, I think we need to settle our feelings without- shouting or swearing please Layla I've loved you since the start I'm not just all of a sudden caring about you I'm just worried like the emotional trauma of having your father die is like not good but you t you refuse to listen to me mother you don't even care about my feelings you're all of a sudden caring about my feelings just because we're on this Dr. Phil show admit it mother you only want to be on the show for the attention not because there's something actually wrong with me I'm going to give Layla a second to cool off, but instead I'm going to talk to you. What type of preventions have you been doing so that Layla does not go on her phone or her laptop? Um, I simply just take away her phone and then she starts getting really mad at me for some reason because then she just steals them back. Typical. She's a nobody. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Ma'am, did you just hear yourself? You literally just said that your child is a nobody. Is it really a wonder she feels neglected? Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that, but you have to admit, like, come on, this girl barely does do anything. I have to bring up her food to her and all this stuff. She acts like I don't care for her? Disgusting. Ma'am, it seems like you're ignoring one issue here. Just because you feed somebody and give them clothes or care for them doesn't mean you actually love them and give them affection. I think she is obviously suffering from a very low self-esteem. No wonder she wants to become TikTok famous. Honestly, I don't even think it's as much as her fault as it is yours. Are, are, are you serious, Dr. Phil? This is supposed to be a show where you tell me something that's wrong with my kid and then send her to the ranch. Why are you calling me out like this? This is not how it's supposed to go. I see you're suffering from a case of narcissism. Crowd, what do we have to say about that? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with the show.